Good morning. Welcome to day two in Bled. We are heading off to do some hikes today and some gorges that are probably gorgeous. You see what I did there? Uh, but first we have to do a little quick pit stop. I haven't been feeling 100% the last two days, so we did a proactive COVID test just to make sure and we are heading to pick up those results right now. Giant golf ball. There's actually a lineup of cars waiting to get in through the, to the drive-through to get people tested. So the verdict is? So the verdict says that I'm oh. negative. Oh, good. <laughs> so I just have had a bug the past couple of days. I'm feeling much better today, so ready to tackle our hikes. All right, fantastic. That's great news. Really? Yeah, I'm parking straight ahead. Is this two way? No. <laughs> That's the name of the gorge that we're at. And here is the trail that we are about to do. And it looks like it's about four kilometers long, not too much elevation change. Oh my gosh, this is super steep. And this is steep, and I think we're gonna be feeling it tomorrow. Not too much elevation change. And it's nice and cool here, and I think it's gonna be a beautiful morning to do this hike. This is the first of two gorges that we're going to today, and this one is way off the beaten path. It's also free to go to and free parking. You have to concentrate walking through here. You could easily break an ankle. Lots of rocks, this is bouldering. It's not expecting this, it's kind of amazing. A lot of work. just in a giant cave, but we're about to go through that hole up there. As you can tell by Bill's size, this cave is much larger than it looks on camera. Oh yeah, this is steep. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is super steep. Oh, I'm glad that we did this today when I'm feeling better. Just a breather. <laughs> Heart is pumping. That's the mouth of the cave that we just came out. Way down there. So the map guide that I have is not accurate at all for this hike. Like not in any way. But it's really good at flapping away the mosquitoes. So it's still worth carrying. It appears as though we're climbing to the top of the gorge and I'm just asking myself, whose dumb idea was this? <laughs> you know what, it was mine. It was my idea. Who's the idiot? I'm the idiot. Occasionally we keep hearing what sound like cowbells, uh, kind of like in Switzerland. Not looking at the map, I'm looking at the points of interest. So you know exactly where we were. We are here. And soon we will be there. <laughs> <laughs> the map came in handy. We just came across some Slovenian hikers who spoke no English. We speak very little Slovenian, but I was able to show them where they were on the map and point them in the direction of parking. And that was what they needed. And uh, we sort of thanked each other and went on our way. <laughs> so the map is a win. We have to go in that. <laughs> really? We go where the trail says to go. Seriously? We go back around the other way. It only took like an hour and a half to get this far. No. No. <laughs> I don't know if I should face the camera forward so you can see what I see or backwards so you can see my reaction when a bat flies over my head. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh my god. What could go wrong? <laughs> Alright, here's a peek. 
So it looks like it gets a little bit better, but this is like a <laughs> genuine cave that we're going through in the middle of the trail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But look, now we have a little boardwalk and some stairs. Something dropped on me. Okay, this part is pretty cool. Don't really understand what's going on down there. It looks like a classroom of sorts, but we are in the middle of the forest, so I don't know who the classes are for. That's where we just came from. We would recommend if you come to this trail, the longer trail goes all the way around and the best part is accessible more quickly through the shorter trail. That's where the boardwalk is, that's high above the gorge, and that's where the narrow cave was that we went through. So if you come here, the longer trail adds about an hour and a half, which is a nice hike in, in nature and solitude and you're not gonna run into many people. But given how many other things there are to do in Bled, I would recommend going the shorter trail and checking out that fantastic cave that you go through and the gorge uh, at the bottom of that boardwalk. That part is absolutely worth coming here for. Right. Yeah, We didn't see any dogs, but we did have muddy prints. We wore hiking shoes. We did see and hear some falling rocks. Thankfully, there were no falling people. Wear good shoes. Hey, we haven't done a shoe report since Greece. We owed you one. We're headed back to our apartment, and after that, we plan on heading over to another gorge. Check out all these bikers. Oh my gosh, so many. It's the second group of bikers. It is a beautiful area to bike in. So according to Google Maps, this is the second of our two gorges when it is less busy but check out all the cars that are in the parking lot. It looks pretty busy to us. So we're gonna start in Vinker and we're gonna head all the way down to Slapshum and then over the ridge and all the way back. Alrighty, there seem to be more people at this one, but we are following a beautiful river and the path is really easy. We could use an easy path. This water is so incredibly clear, but you can just see all the way down to the bottom. Perfectly, perfectly, pristinely clear. When we get somewhere as incredible as this, it's a real problem. Not only are we making videos to share with all of you, but we also love to take photographs. And we're on a little bit of a time crunch today. Apparently our five euros for parking only covers us for four hours. We don't know what happens after that. And it takes three hours to do the loop. And we've been here forever because it's beautiful. So just to tee it up, we might have to get our car out of Hawk later on. I'm not sure why I climbed the fence when I can just go around it. Not that we're going to. Is not allowed. It's taken us an hour to go the first 25 minutes. We are so gonna have to get our car out of Hawk, but geez, look at this. <laughs> oh. 
oh, oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, we voted and we think that these waterfalls are nicer than the ones that we went to near Chamonix, France. Yeah. I just saw a fish jump up the waterfall on the other side. It was amazing. I, we could hold our camera there for like an hour. Probably won't happen again. This bridge up here actually carries a rail line that's still used today. It's about 100 years old. So amazing. We have arrived at the 25 minute check mark. We got here an hour and 35 minutes ago. <laughs> We're so screwed. <laughs> so there are two routes for heading back. You can take the high route, which is steep and is only 45 minutes. I saw a lot of recommendations for the longer version, which goes through some alpine meadows. That's the one we've chosen and hopefully we'll get back to our car in time. Also, we both really feel the hike from earlier this morning already. Bill says so far this is pretty tame. We'll see whether his words come back to haunt him. They won't. I don't think we've mentioned it today, but both of the hikes that we did were inside this park, which I cannot pronounce. Trigilowski. Also, it also says to be quiet, Bill. <laughs> so there's a shuttle that might have been free, we're not sure. That could have taken us back to the parking lot, but then we would have missed this section of the walk, which is beautiful. Particularly. I don't believe I was documenting a snake. <laughs> Two thumbs up. This is a nice walk. This mountain here right above Heather's head is Mount Stoll. It is the largest in the region, or this immediate area. It's 2,236 meters. Not sure what that works out to in feet exactly, but it also marks the border with Austria, Austria between Austria and Slovenia, yeah. And I don't know if we've mentioned in the last couple days, we've always been within sight pretty much of either the Austrian or the Italian border. It's kind of neat. Well, we're finding it pretty hard to leave this bench that we found. The view from here just stretches over the valley and we're hearing dogs barking and cows mooing and horses and crickets and it's all just incredibly peaceful. And honestly, after the two hikes we've done today, we're just a little bit tired. We're pretty zonked. <laughs> So we wrapped up the hike. Uh, we made it, I think, just in time so that we're not gonna get a fine from anybody or extra parking fee or whatever might have happened. We uh, would highly recommend this hike. It is one of the better ones that we've done in Europe. It began with a beautiful series of waterfalls, continued with a nice forest walk, and then culminated in those alpine meadows where we saw evidence of livestock, but no actual livestock, if right. you know what I mean. <laughs> I think I know what you mean. <laughs> there is a lot more to do here that we didn't get a chance to do. Uh, there is uh, tobogganing, there is a castle to explore, and bicycling, and we just gave you a taste of everything that's here in Bled. So you'll just have to check it out for yourself. Catch you next time when we go on a special route. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs>
my god. Yeah, you're way. Fluffing. <laughs> Fluffing. <laughs>